Over the last six months, my team and I have been checking out your best loved restaurants from thousands of nominations. Tonight, the competition continues with another of your top culinary favorites, Chinese. Chinese food is one of the great cuisines of the world. Top Chinese chefs use techniques and flavor combinations that you won't find in any other cuisine. There's a Chinese restaurant on nearly every high street, and there's an incredible range, from small family-run outfits to Michelin-style fine dining. Lee, can I have the noodles, please? Thank you, darling. We tend to think of Chinese food as being all about chow mein and special fried rice, but great Chinese restaurants serve food that's as sophisticated and complex as anything you'll find in a posh French restaurant. I've chosen two fantastic restaurants to battle it out for a place in the semi-finals. Tonight, from Mayfair in London, it's the crazy culinary genius of Kai. No, my style of cooking is a new modern Chinese. As a chef, we need to cook from our, our heart. Versus the best of the Northwest, Blackburn's You and You, a brilliant family-run restaurant. Let oh, the food do the talking. Oh. The earliest memory of food was just cooking with my father. He said, oh, you can't reach the cookers, so stand on these four cases to lift yourself up. I can only choose one Chinese restaurant to go through to the semi-final, so they must prove to me beyond all doubt that they are the most worthy contender. I'm going to subject both restaurants to three challenging tests, starting with a coach load of 30 guests, all arriving and ordering at the same time. Every restaurant's worst nightmare. First, they'll sashay into Mayfair to sample the avant-garde delight on offer at Michelin star Kai. Where is he? Chef? I like to... I'm going next to you. You look like you've just come up with a Chinese boy band. Look at that hair. <laughs> huh? Incredible. Superstar. I know. <laughs> you are a superstar. Kai's kitchen is led by Alex, the demanding head chef. He's a perfectionist who runs his kitchen with a rod of iron to ensure his sophisticated dishes are spot on every time. How many times I'm, I'm told you? Fuck, man! Alex honed his skills in some of Asia's top five-star hotels before being poached by Kai's ambitious owner, Bernard. The intention was to change people's perceptions about Chinese restaurants. They're trying to reinvent Chinese cuisine, and they put a 21st century twist on it. Amongst Kai's bold and unusual dishes is a unique liquid version of a lamb shank. Now, that does not look like a lamb shank in there. So is it supposed to be like a lamb shank soup, or...? Yes, right. yes. It's, it's one of those dishes which catches people out by surprise. So a lot of people absolutely love it, and some people don't like it. I've just never had a lamb shank like that before. No, no, no. absolutely not. Um, if you're going to serve that today, obviously on the menu, make sure the customers understand what it is before. Yes. I don't want them disappointed. It tastes delicious. It's just a really strange way of executing yeah. it. I love these guys. They are very, very creative. And this food is out there. And I just hope that my diners get it and love the experience. Kai will need to be on top of their game to survive my ultimate pressure test. Two hours, two courses. Yeah, I'm going to be over everything. I'll be in the kitchen, I'll be in the dining room, and I'll be watching and listening to everything. So make sure that you give my diners an experience never to forget. Normally, bookings are staggered to take the pressure off the kitchen, but not tonight. My 30 diners will push Kai to the edge and give them a chance to shine. <laughs>